Hello everybody, I have this Radio Shack Archer soldering gun and the lamp is burned out so I'm going to convert it to an LED. So here's the existing bulb, just a conventional incandescent. It's plugged into this socket right here. And here's the LED bulb I've, I've selected. It's uh, critical to get an LED bulb that has an AC voltage rating. An LED bulb with just a DC voltage rating is probably not going to work. So this one has an AC and DC voltage rating. And what I'm going to do is probably just solder on some larger gauge wire to increase the thickness of this these two pins. So here's the LED. I've decided to just push the wires through the back of the socket and then solder them to the two terminals. This way, if I want to convert back to the conventional light, I can just unsolder those two wires and pull the lamp out and put the conventional incandescent back in. You got to be careful with the temperature. I used a really, really fine tip soldering iron. And you can't leave the heat on there very long or you're going to start to melt the, the wire bond connection to the LED circuit. As you can see, things get a little bit tight back in here between these windings and the back of the socket. So I've got a little bit of um, Kapton film and electrical tape right in this gap here just in case um, it wants to touch and short out but I think it's going to be okay. So I have the bulb in. Inside these soldering guns are they're all pretty much the same. I'm pretty sure even though this says Radio Shack or it says Archer I'm pretty sure this is a Weller gun just based on the switch and all the internal guts they all look like the Wellers that I have. So here you go I suppose you could probably hard solder that LED lamp because the likelihood that you're going to burn it out is pretty slim based on usage. I don't know whether cycling will shorten the life, but clearly in terms of operating hours, I can't imagine you would burn the bulb out just based on operating time. The bulb I purchased was something like this bulb right here. It was a G4 bulb, but the important thing to pay attention to is the AC voltage rating. Not all LEDs are rated for AC. So this one had an AC or DC voltage rating of 12 volts. I paid 57 cents for it. That included shipping. Maybe just under three weeks from Asia. I bought it on AliExpress, A-L-I-E-X-P-R-E-S-S. -E -E -S. As I say, for 57 cents delivered. see if I can find any other specifications for you. So yes, the bulb base was a G4 and right here SMD 3014 if I remember correctly. Yes, it was an SMD 3014 and it replaces a 15 watt halogen <clears throat> I do not know what the current rating is, but I think the bulb that was in the gun originally is in the 4 to 5 watt range, rated uh, probably 12 or 14 volts AC. So the AC voltage rating is important, and they're pretty cheap. So there you have it. If you found this video at all helpful or interesting or even entertaining, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate a subscription. Thanks for watching.